Okay, this is a uh, official work session. Uh, the board values the public input and ideas set forth by the public. Uh, and we would request that this be made at the regular public board meeting, which is going to be held on March 16th at 12 o'clock. Um, I'm going to call the uh, points of order. Are uh, there any points of order? Seeing none, we'll move on to board items. First item on the agenda is resolution number 453, which is the bank signing authority removing uh, Wayne. Um, yeah, uh, I'd like to make a motion that the resolution number 453 is adopted with a change in signatures for uh, bank signing authority. I second that. It's been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, the uh, motion stands approved. Uh, next item on the agenda is approval of contract. Are there any contracts? There are no contracts. Okay, we have a uh, Item on the agenda for health tech updates. John, do we have anybody here for that? We do not. Okay, moving on. Um, I'm going to call on Mike Layfield and you can explain why I'm doing this great meeting today. Yeah, this, this is a little bit of a different meeting that you will see today. Uh, and one, let me just back up just a second. We, we were going to introduce the uh, new foundation uh, director, Smart Arnie. And uh, she had a little bit of a conflict and could not make it, but she will be at our 16th meeting. And she starts actually on the 13th. Uh, so she'll be on board then. The reason the meeting looks a little sparse is the Department of Health uh, arrived unannounced at the beginning of this week on Tuesday. They'll be here for about four days and they'll do an extra conference this afternoon um, or in the morning, probably in the morning. So, uh, and that's where all of our staff are there out with the Department of Health. Uh, they, they do an in depth dive. How long does that generally take? Uh, about four days. Oh. So they came in Tuesday, go out probably in the morning. And they've made some comments around the hospital that's kind of interesting as uh, we've been participating in different meetings. They do all the critical access hospitals and, and the larger hospitals too in the state um, for uh, licensure verification. And they said, this is the biggest critical access hospital they've ever seen. They have not seen one with a, such a diverse health ecosystem as we have. So they said, it's going to take a little longer than we thought. Mm -hmm. um, so they said, we'll be here to fight it. So DMV uh, comes in and they do an accreditation survey. And you heard us talk about them every year. So what the Department of Health does is Medicare and the CMS employ them to come in and do a backup to the DMV. So they come about every four years. They haven't been here since 2019. So uh, they're in here and they, they protect them. They're here to protect the, the, you know, the, our, patient, our patients, uh, make sure that we have to get safety standards, follow all the rules. Um, so that's kind of the difference in the two. And that's why we don't have them out here. So I will give a couple of their reports. Um, uh, Mr. Uh, Chairman, if uh, if you want, I'll, uh, the, uh, the 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 med expanse system uh, continues to uh, go into play, and I'm always not here to give that, but uh, we're proceeding along. Um, under uh, position improvement under uh, GAR section, we have uh, received a a. a, a a verbal commitment, and he's looking over the contract now from Dr. Bryson, the urologist. And we've not had a urologist here in many, many years. We've been recruiting him heavily for the last uh, uh, six months, and it looks like he will be coming here effective August the 1st. We're just waiting on a contract to run back, and uh, we don't see any issues uh, going on. And we continue to recruit uh, a lot of other uh, folks. Um, and then uh, our our behavioral health nurse practitioner starts next month in Freeland. It's going to be great. Nice. And uh, we have a new rehab director that's, that's coming on board on the 13th. Telehealth, though, we continue to just slowly look at it and go through it and interview different companies. So we're moving along on that. And that's, uh, that's his report. The uh, 
the one thing Curtis he wanted me to bring up uh, amongst all the other things he's doing is our hospice um, received a uh, five-star rating in a hospice com in hospital compare from CMS. That's where CMS calls up patients and says, how would you rate our service? Or their family members, and uh, that's really, really great. It's like a five star there. <clears throat> um, I think that would pretty much uh, include uh, everybody's re reports uh, of any highlights that they would have brought to you. So, <clears throat> the only point that I'd make for the hospice, in addition to that, is the Washington State Hospital Association rated them as one of the two highest uh, performing and, and highest rated in the entire state. So, that's the second. Kudo that they've gotten within two months. We need that. We'll be sure to make sure that gets into the newspapers. Um, and I had a report here from Tim, but I don't see anything that he hasn't already brought up to you that uh, that he's working on. Of course, a lot of grants. And we'll bring all this to the next meeting, of course, on the 16th in more detail. Um, and uh, from, from kind of from my desk, um, we will. We've been working on a new set of medical staff bylaws for some six or seven months. Uh, it went through one committee uh, yesterday, I believe, going to the med exec in the morning. Everything comes out of that, and that's been reviewed by our attorney and reviewed with the chief of staff, credentials committee, bylaws committees. Um, if it comes out of there uh, tomorrow, it'll go to the full medical staff next Tuesday or so. They have to look at it for 30 days. So somewhere around April, the whatever, second or fifth or whatever it'll be, uh, we can uh, have a new set of bylaws. Made some, uh, some changes in there, and I think they're all, all for the best. But we'll see you more. I'll keep you all updated on that. And uh, we look forward to you meeting the new foundation director. I think uh, she's going to do well. Helen did a great job um, while she's been in there. And uh, so we'll see if she can't come in and take it to the next level. That's the my report. Mm -hmm. John, did that somewhere ever get a job logged in? No, she she can't get in. Um, she, she had a little bit of a conflict, not getting in, but she still has the same conflict she had this morning. Mm -hmm. she, she won't make it. Okay, Paul, financial reports. <clears throat> so uh, I'll start with uh, the sneak peek for you at our January earnings. Um, still preliminary, but. Uh, Positive bottom line, uh, we'll be reporting at the Finance Committee in a couple of weeks. And a big part of that is the work of the revenue cycle team. So I want to tip my hat to them because <clears throat> without the $400,000 in bad debt collections that they uh, collected last month, we wouldn't be showing this positive bottom line that we're going to be showing uh, for the month of January. Um, February is going to be a, a good month as well. Um, we have generated, uh, in comparison to February of last year, almost $4 million more in gross charges year over year. So uh, a good portion of that will translate to the bottom line. So uh, I think we have that to look forward to. Uh, I want to thank uh, Mr. Goldberg for his presence and his voice yesterday in a meeting that we held uh, with our bank in which uh, fees were discussed. And uh, so um, I believe that the results of that meeting will be that uh, we won't see the large increase that we might have otherwise seen had we not had this meeting with them yesterday. And what types of fees are those? These are uh, these are your your normal uh, uh, fees that a bank would charge you for uh, their service. Just checking account. Just checking account checking, yeah. processing. Right. Okay. Uh -huh. right. So that was about a thousand dollars a month yesterday. Yeah. Good. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, thank you, Jim. And. Uh, Quick comment about our day's cash on hand. We're at 27. Mm -hmm. uh, and that does not include any debt service money that is set aside. Um, and that 27 is not expected to grow over the next 30 days. And that's because we have three payrolls 
in the month of March. And so uh, if it was a normal two payroll month, we would be seeing about a six day increase in our days cash on hand. But because of the three, uh, we're gonna stay about where we are right now. Um, in our last meeting, did, do you recall the number that we were down to? Because obviously that was an area of concern just based on the, the repayments that had to take place. Yeah, it was mid thirties. Okay. Um, so I think uh, I think that's everything that I wanted to cover in my speech. We're going to have more after the finance committee meeting um, in two weeks. Okay, thanks, Paul. Um, mm -hmm. Facilities update. Tim's not here, and I think Mike already covered it. So, um, do you have anything for the executive session? I do not. Okay, no executive session today. So let's move to commissioners' comments. Uh, Morgan. Well, first, I apologize for being late. <laughs> uh, slow traffic and a late start up this way. But um, I feel really positive about what I'm seeing. I did see the article come out that you gentlemen wrote together, I believe. And uh, the voter, uh, what is it? It's, it's Alan McFeeder puts out the voter interest mm -hmm. information. Mm -hmm. He's actually a really good one to feed it to firsthand because he will make sure it gets out to everyone. And more and more people are signing up to that. So also, I, I don't know how much of meetings within the general community that we've been able to go out to and share our improved story with the community, but the rotaries, the all the different ones, the lions, everybody just maybe uh, make a list and make a round. I know maybe now when once uh, Nathan comes on board and is here, maybe that would be a good, I mean, you're gonna have a very limited amount of time, it'd be, it'd be perfect but time. it would be a perfect time to get you in on some of the meetings, uh, especially, I mean, the Rotary meetings in Oak Harbor are pretty large. They will have a lot of uh, business people, the Chamber of Commerce, all of those are really excellent for getting the message out. But I think maybe thinking about it ahead and, um, you know, maybe getting those on a schedule for next month. And Mike jump started that about uh, two or three months ago, and it's been to a number yeah. of the clubs so far, and yeah. very well received, and and a good question and answer period afterwards. Yeah, yeah. it so, is always yeah. because they are very invested in their feelings about our hospital, which so many of us have been sort of uh, you know concerned with where it's at, and then the rumor mill that makes it you know, like a hundred times worse. So I think just on that part, just encouraging us to get out and take part and share our message that's really growing in positivity so we can impart that. And I think Connor's got that kind of lined up for us for Nathan's uh, and, and help tech. We have something we call your first hundred days. So yes. in his first hundred days, he would be you know, doing a lot of that. One last thing uh, that was uh, brought to my attention, and maybe it is not uh, a proper statement, but in speaking with, um, Je uh, oh, all of a sudden her name flew to poop, uh, Jesse uh, from Whitby News Times, is that she uh, was hopeful that we could get our all of our open um, meetings that the public can attend on our on our website and or maybe even push them to her. So Connor, is she talking out of turn? They're, they're currently posted um, a year in advance. Yeah. Um, each week so they have a board meeting. Um, everything's updated with the agenda that is also emailed out by John uh -huh. to uh, the paper or media contacts and okay. Mr. McPeters. Great. Um, so the communication is there. Okay. She it's all out on the board because she's paid her website. It, it, it's an attitude problem. So, uh, yeah, that's what I thought, but I didn't say anything about it because I just thought I'd pass that on. Thank so, you. So that brings up a good point. We were going to give uh, Jesse a tour. Uh, how is that coming? We have asked her on several occasions to attend, and we've not been able to hook up on a a, um, a date that we could both do it at the same time. But, Connor, any other? No, no, her, nothing. 
I mean, we're we're trying, right? We're trying, we're we're trying for two months now to get her out of here. We're trying. Can I help facilitate? Yeah, Is it okay to help? Get her out. Get her out Not that she'll listen to me, but you know. You can help on the for the tour. Okay. Absolutely. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, yes, I think it's just great that uh, Paul, Mike, and Health Tech have done such a wonderful job on the revenue cycle. As far as that goes, that's a that's a huge, huge thing. So that's yes. uh, that's just awesome. Carry on the way you have. We I think we've done a, a good job, and you know, I did say excellent, and we still have ways to go. We're finding new um, uh, I don't know new practices to install, looking at and improving processes every day. Something we find something that is working grinding down in getting uh, into a little bit deeper dive than you would be in, in your first year uh, going yeah. through everything so yeah we, we have made tremendous improvement back. we have lots of work we get <clears throat> um, a couple things um, the majority of the comments that i have have to do with the the um, quality program and the assessment which is is something that's done very very well i've been impressed and the last report that came out you know, basically rates all of the clinic specialties, the med surge, of course, the ED, uh, and some of the ancillary support areas, cancer, et cetera. And um, there's a little bit of an issue with how they they come out reading wise. So I'm going to look and see if if the comments can be presented in a in a fashion where they're all readable. They seem to collapse at the end. But I took liberty to to write down a few of them. Um, because I think they're really impressive. And overall, the ratings have done nothing but um, climb slightly to uh, aggressively. Um, so people wrote, would be health saved my life. I'm grateful to the entire staff. These are all separate. You folks are the best. You should be very proud of everyone. Best ER experience I've ever had. That was from an ED doctor. Nice. Uh, <laughs> not a bad first role. Everyone was so nice and very professional. I'll definitely be back, hopefully. And that's sort of one of those good things, bad things. I'll be back. Uh, but I think I don't think it was a threat. It was, uh, <laughs> yeah. it was, it was a positive promise. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, and the only other thing I'm going to, as a board member, is just to work with Mike and, and Janet and look to see the resolution because there's a couple of comments where somebody felt that they didn't get perhaps the right care or attention or attitude, which is going to happen. But uh, it would be good to just see what the process is that they go through by, by an address, which mm -hmm. I'm confident they're doing something. So that was, these are really good. And that's just a fraction. That's it. All right. Thank you. Again, Mr. Mullen will be back for our next board meeting. It will be a regular board meeting on Thursday, March 16th at 12 o'clock. Are there any other comments or issues? I'd like to make a motion that we adjourn. Second that. Uh, no objection. And your motion carries. You are adjourned. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time. This was our meeting.